Hello and welcome to this episode of Gravel Diaries. This is Liam's first episode, so we decided to treat him to something a little bit special. And we are out in Spain, thanks to Mondraker for bringing us out here. They wanted us to do a silly ride on its new dusty gravel bike. It's not actually dusty, it's called the Dusty. It's an e-gravel bike, it's got a suspension for all the ones that we have have. So we're gonna take it on some mountain bike stuff, aren't we? Yeah, and this is, uh, so Mondraker usually just have mountain bikes, but this is their first foray into gravel. So they're pretty excited about this new bike. So I'm pretty excited to get out on it. Apparently it can do five hours of riding off road and whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna go and put it to the test. So we're gonna ride it down some silly things uh, and really, really put it to the test. Should we go? Let's head. Mondraker freedom. <laughs> Our guide for our ride around the stunning hills above Calpe was Eno Serra. He's a Masters European Champion in ultramarathon cross-country mountain biking, so it's safe to say that he's rather handy off-road. Needless to say, it was one of the easier days that Eno's had on a bike. But we're very thankful that he kept waiting for us while we faffed around with cameras. While Eno didn't turn his e-bike assistance on all day, our aim was to just try and keep up with him and not run out of battery in the meantime. Easy. E-bike range, I've got the, the travel range. I've got the battery assist mode, which I can put up and down. It's great. Not sure which mode to put it on. It's on like second assistance at the moment. Uh, put on the first one. <laughs> hey, she's tall. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> A small clothing update from me. The sun really has started to come out and it can only mean one thing. The milk bottles are out. Ho ho ho! Around this corner, Robin, there is a very technical rock garden. Yes. Have you engaged full assistant I've mode? I've engaged full assistant mode. Full purple. Full purple. <laughs> full purple. Full purple. <laughs> 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 I'm so good at reading maps. I think we might have gone the wrong way. I can't even start. Ah. <laughs> Try that way. <laughs> Don't stop riding into the tree. Even e-bikes can't get up things like this. They can only take your skill level to a certain amount. <laughs> they can if they've got a former Spanish pro on them. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, that's, that's the line. Uh. Go on, Liam! <laughs> uh, where's it go? So 2,835 feet. Okay, we're almost at the top. I'll tell you what, even with e-bike assistance, this climb has been pretty tough. Uh, we've got amazing views. What a cool area. Woo. Outside line. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 
quite loose. <laughs> Woo! Right, let's give you a quick run through of the bike. We've obviously got an e-gravel bike. This is a carbon frame. It's got a really thin top tube, which just looks cool. It's got Mondraker's forward geometry, which they're very famous for in the mountain bike world. Uh, this is rocking a RockShox Explore uh, Rudy Ultimate fork. Up at the front, uh, so we've got a little bit of travel. You can see from the dust lines. So it's been working very, very hard today. Um, then we'll come back down here because the other key part of the bike is down here at the rear hub. This is Marley's X20 motor. Um, it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit stronger um, and it's apparently a little bit more progressive, but uh, we'll have to test that out properly. This has got a dropper post back here. We've been bouncing up and down because it's been very fun. Uh, also, we went down a very steep descent and it was very, very useful there. Um, SRAM's Force ETAP access group set. It's running a mullet setup. So we've got the X01 rear derailleur back here with a massive cassette. I don't even know what that is. So this bike at the back end, well, at the front end, it's not really limited to tire clearance because you can fit massive tires in those forks. Uh, but at the back end, you are limited to a 45-ish millimeter tire. That's what we've got on. And you could probably push it a little bit further, but um, it would be quite tight. So yeah, that's my bike for the day. Oh, thank God the sun is coming out and it's about to go back in and I've just blinded myself. <laughs> Liam's having a meltdown. <laughs> How's the route been so far? Have you enjoyed it? Uh, yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. My hands are pretty cooked because we've been going down some pretty chonky gravel. Like it's not even been gravel, it's been a boulder field for Christ's sake. Um, but it's been great fun. So just before lunch, we did a little battery check. Um, so how is your battery doing? Not well. <laughs> Mine's looking a little, mine's looking a little sorry for itself. So I think I've only got like less than half left. Yeah, um. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm possibly going to get to the top of the next climb and then see where I'm at because I want to be able to put for the final climb, I want to put it in turbo mode and just absolutely <laughs> cane it. <laughs> so you've got two big climbs left. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll make it back in time. Yeah, Who yeah. knows? <laughs> I'm sorry. Mondraker was so, so very confident. Yeah, and I think, were. I think they weren't <laughs> expecting us to use the turbo mode quite so much. Stick Robin in the castle. Yeah! Oh dear, we're gonna have a. <laughs> oh, foot out! Oh. Ah! <laughs> when you're riding gravel, there is no one but yourself to think about. Well, we've got about 13 kilometers to ride, I reckon, and we've got a serious bit of climbing to do, we'll including this technical rocky stuff. Oh. <laughs> Robin, <laughs> no more lunch beers for you. <laughs> so yeah, we've got to go over that thing, which could get interesting. Yeah, especially because um, Liam's uh, just got a notification saying low battery. Yeah, whoops. Um, so I've got two bars left. So yeah, we'll, we'll see if we make it home with battery left. We've just come up this road, which is like a wiggle all the way around. We're not quite at the top yet though. This is intense, so good. Oh my gosh. This is like the best gravel I've ever been on in my life. So our lovely guide for the day has said that this is his favorite view around here. That is just stunning. So this is the lake 
down beside the hotel where we're staying and that is the sea. So we've made it to the very yeah. top of the biggest climb of the whole day and I'm pretty sure I've said that loads of times but this is actually the biggest climb of the day. I've hoped for it a few times today but it is here, uh, the hotel is just down over there so we've only got some uh, descending to do. So in terms of the batteries, the batteries have done absolutely brilliantly. I've still got like two bars left. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. I think we can, you know, stop worrying about them. It's gonna be all right. Yeah, and they've really, really helped on some of the, let's say the gnarlier climbs. <laughs> they've, they've basically got us up where our line choice and legs have been lacking. We're not out of the woods yet. We've still got to get down this thing, so, um, Let's see if we can get down with all of our bones unbroken. <laughs> Enjoy <one>. watching that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Robin, are you leaving, leaving skid marks in Spain? <laughs> get out the bush. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Having said that we got to the top of the final climb, we seem to be climbing again. It's 17%. Good. Let's go down. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> Final descent, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Whee! Ah! Oh, this is terrifying. If you're wondering, yes, that is the sound of my tires. Don't go too fast, because you will die. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop aiming for the head! And Robin's in another ditch. Robin! Liam? Uh, well, I should ask you the same question, really, because I made it down <laughs> just about without crashing, but how many times did you crash? I came off the road three times, <laughs> getting a little excited and then uh, couldn't brake in time. Some uh, pretty big curves. <laughs> oh dear. We're almost back at the hotel now. The sun is still up. We've still got plenty of battery. So all in all, a good trip. This has been an all-day adventure and it's been absolutely brilliant. Watch out, Robin, there's a corner. <laughs> So as you can tell, we made it back yeah. to the hotel. We didn't run out of battery. Um, and you didn't end up in more than three ditches on the final descent. <laughs> so it, we're all a winner here. I got a little excited on the final descent. <laughs> but the bikes made it as well. And we got proper, proper sendy on these things. So we pushed them about as far as I think either of our skill sets would allow. Yeah, it was great. I'm pretty glad. I mean, we did a lot of climbing. It was about 7,000 feet on all in, which was a very long day out. And I'm quite glad that we had the motors. Especially for the off-road sections, which really, really get technical. You feel like you can have a lot of fun on these things just because they've got a bit of suspension in the front, which, you know, compensates for some of your line choices. And they've got the motor kicking you along from the back, which really compensates for well, terrible legs. And it allowed us to go to the cafe, have two bowlfuls of uh, potatoes. <laughs> what are they in Spanish? Patatas bravas. Patatas bravas. So we've had a really great day out. It, this area of the world is absolutely stunning, as I'm sure you'll agree. Um, you, did you enjoy it? <laughs> I love this area of the world. Um, I think I am going to be back on my holidays with a bicycle. Now, if you want even more details about this bike, about the Dusty XR, which we have literally got quite dusty, 
there will be an article over on bikeradar.com. If you've liked this video and you want to see us do more gravel diaries in fun places, then please click the like button, subscribe for more, and make sure you've got that bell icon ticked so you know when we upload a new video. We'll see you in the next one. Adios! <laughs> Flip the bike! <laughs>